Well, hey everybody, it's Pastor Andrew just jumping on for our midweek update to let you know everything that's happening here at New Hope. So as we get started today, I just wanted to say that I am so excited to be standing in the place where we are seeing so many new faces on Sunday mornings. It has been exciting to see all of these chairs filling up with new worship guests that are joining us on Sunday mornings, new folks joining us in our ministries like Grief Share and our, our youth ministry on Wednesday night, busting at the seams, our children's ministry on Sunday mornings. It's been very exciting to see God really bless our efforts in trying to get out beyond the walls of the church and our community. And I just wanted to take a second to remind you guys that as we're in this season of growth and the season of, of engaging with new folks, to don't forget on Sunday mornings, go and uh, make sure to reach out to folks. If you see a new face in worship, maybe you, you don't want to say something to them because you say, well, maybe they've been here a while and I just haven't noticed. But you know, the best thing you could say is, hey, my name is Andrew and I haven't had a chance to meet you yet. It's a great way to meet new folks. Don't forget to wear those name tags on Sunday and let's continue to just really lean into the way God's blessing us in this season of growth with, with so many new folks uh, coming to worship. I consistently hear as I'm talking with new folks about how they found their way to New Hope and why they're staying at New Hope. And what they're saying is the warm welcome they've received, that, that folks have come up to them, that folks have sat with them, that folks have truly embraced them being here. And that's just so exciting to see. I, I hope you have celebrated as I have. I know a lot of folks have reached out to me and said, it just feels so good in worship on Sunday to see so many new faces. So let's continue to lean into that, to thank God for that blessing and continue to celebrate it and continue to get the word out about the amazing things God is doing here at New Hope. Speaking of the amazing things God's doing here at New Hope, we are coming to the end of our series, Believe, where we've been digging in, where we've been looking at some of the funny stories and lessons um, from the TV show, Ted Lasso. Last Sunday, we talked about um, be curious and not judgmental. What a great challenge for the church, for us not to judge somebody when they walk through these doors by the way they look or, or the appearance we see, but to be curious and say, everybody that comes in here, whether they've been here since they were a baby or whether this is their first time here as an adult, they've got a story. And I want to know that story because it's God's unique story. What a great challenge for us, for us to continue to remember that. Well, we've talked about a lot of great stuff. And as we come to the last week of this series, I'm so excited Sunday to talk about how forgiveness is freeing. How when we don't forgive, when we don't forgive ourselves, when we don't forgive other people, we literally put ourselves in chains. We literally walk around with a weight on us because we haven't let forgiveness happen. And so we're gonna talk about all those aspects of forgiveness, of forgiving ourselves, of forgiving other people, about asking for forgiveness, and importantly, about being willing to be forgiven. Sometimes we're the hardest on ourselves when we look in the mirror and we see ourselves as unforgivable, even though God sees us as beautiful and lovable and, and he wants to offer us grace. We don't wanna give that same grace to ourselves. So I would encourage you to invite others to be with you Sunday, to invite your friends, your neighbors, your family to come and worship with us. Of course, we live stream, but we always prefer, if at all possible, to be in person, to worship together. There's just something that happens when this space is filled with us together worshiping God. So we got a lot of other stuff going on. I've been really driving home in this current season here at New Hope about Find another place beyond Sunday morning to get plugged in. And so I just want to tell you about a few of those things. First of all, it's Wednesday. So we got a lot that goes on on Wednesday. We've got um, students, 6th to 12th graders, meeting from 6 to 8 in the next gen building out back. They have dinner, fellowship, fun, study, accountability. They do all that in those two hours on Wednesday night. It's a great thing to do in the middle of the week. We've got choir at 7 o'clock. Come meet Corey, meet our, our worship team. Um, we are about to kick off practicing for the cantata for Christmas. They always have opportunities to work with the praise band at our contemporary service. So come and talk to them about how you can get plugged in and be a part of the worship team. We've got disciple Bible study that happens at the Phillips house on Wednesday night. So lots of stuff happening tonight. Then don't forget we have our prayer group that meets on um, on Wednesdays. They've, they've already met today. We've got a Bible study for, for men at seven o'clock at Country Cafe on Tuesday mornings. We've got a study of the Gospel of John right here at 10 o'clock on Tuesdays. Um, tomorrow on Thursday, our Grief Share group meets. And this is a community-wide grief group. 
that we host here at New Hope on uh, Thursday night. So it'd be a great place to plug in. You do not have to come every week. You can just come one week and check it out. It'd be a great thing for you to be plugged in. Or if you've got that friend or family member or neighbor that would benefit from being a part of a grief group, definitely get them here. We've got some folks from our community that are coming and being blessed. Now, Sunday, as I talked about, we'll conclude our series. Our youth have a big weekend. The confirmation class is meeting all day Saturday right here on campus. Then Saturday night is the lock-in because the youth are kicking off fall break or September break. I don't know if it's fall break, whatever they call the break now, but they're off out of school next week. So they're kicking that off with a lock-in at the Fortuna's house um, on uh, Friday night going, or I mean, sorry, on Saturday night going into Sunday and they'll all come to worship on Sunday morning. Um, we've got that conclusion of the series Sunday morning. We got a uh, life on tap next week on Tuesday night. We've got church council next week on Monday night. So tons of opportunities for you to be plugged in. So I don't want you to miss anything. If you don't know where fits for you, then I would invite you to pick up the phone, comment on this email, reach out to me. Let me sit down with you. Let's have a conversation. Let's find the perfect place for you to plug in. And maybe the first place you try isn't the right place. Maybe you got to try a couple of things. But that's the beauty of all the things we offer here at New Hope. You can try several different things and find what's the perfect fit for you so that you can continue to engage beyond just Sunday mornings. So lots of stuff going on. We're excited about Sunday. I can't wait to be with you as we conclude our Believe series, as we talk about the freedom that comes through forgiveness. I can't wait to join you for all these other opportunities outside of Sunday mornings. And I can't wait to just be with you here at New Hope in this exciting season as we're growing, as we're engaging our community in new ways. I want you to be a part of it because it's a really exciting thing to be a part of. We'll see you Sunday, 9 a.m. Contemporary, 11 a.m. Traditional, right here at New Hope UMC in Gainesville, Georgia.